going on right here, man? Yeah. This is my brother right here. Well, you know who I had to come to to do the official, the official official. We're gonna make an announcement today? Oh, yeah. That's okay. what we're doing. It's going down. Let's do it. Diggy back, Diggy back. Wow, man, that's a clip from Gronus. Um, and our next guest, man, I'm just looking at his accolades. Have a BR. I remember when he headlined the Life of a Jet Setter tour, his own tour back in the day, man. The dude has done so much. Diggy's received like uh, Billboard's Artist to Watch 2011, Double XL's uh, 2011 Freshman List in Cover, 2011 BET Award Rookie of the Year. Damn, man, look at this. Um, man. Yeah, nominee in 2012 NIN ACP Image Award winner for Outstanding New Artist, uh, Young Star Award nominee. I mean, he's done so much reality TV success. Mm -hmm. um, probably best young man dressed in GQ magazine once they start yeah. that column. Um, Early. <laughs> Early. Remember yes. 2015 BET co host with Tracy G for How to Rock Kicks? That's right. That's right. True. And, 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 and now we're seeing True. him on the big screen now. We're seeing him on the little screen. He, he's here to talk about something we've been waiting for for a long time. The one and only Diggy Simmons has Woo! returned. Man. Man. Greatest intros. Oh, man, wow. man, come on, man. How are you, How are you brother? Man, thank y'all for having me. It's always uh, always the greatest time when I come up here. Man, we love you, bro. Yeah, well, yeah it's, it's No, it's genuine love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have individual relationships and ties to, like, all y'all. So mm -hmm. thank you guys for always just treating me with so much love man. when I come up. Well, I, I think you dig, Diggy's the type of, uh, well, used to be the type of guy that I would introduce to my daughter. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, man. Yeah, yeah. What happened, though? So you what? said used well, to. Well, I start listening to some of his new songs, <laughs> like Text Me and Anchors and all these different <laughs> songs. I realize, damn, Diggy's been corrupted. Um, Sheesh. by the sex demon. Snitch it out yourself. <laughs> you know, uh, it's been yeah. a long time, man. It's, it's been a minute. It's been six years since six six years. Yes, yeah, since yeah. the last official project. Why? What's been going on in the six years? And, th and this so is, this question is for the real answer. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I, exactly. Okay. I got the answers for you. So, <laughs> I was in like high school my whole time when I toured when I was younger, right? So that's like from the ages of, for me, 15 to like 18. Mm -hmm. I was touring like nonstop and I was like a child. So when I got done with that, I'm a person who with my music, it's all about the message. It's all about integrity. I don't necessarily care to just keep it going just for the sake of keeping it going. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I took that break that I needed, but in that process, I began to overthink it. Are people going to care? Are the bars good enough? You know, getting into my head to the point where it wasn't becoming fun and it was becoming like mentally mm -hmm. exhausting. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, you know, I had to just finally allow myself. That's what my first single, It Is What It Is, is about. Mm -hmm. is telling people that you can't overthink your own process. Mm -hmm. You can't look at what other people are doing, mm -hmm. what other people have. Yeah. You can't wake up with... In the morning, this is something that my uncle says with this this feeling of like, you know, the glass is half empty mm -hmm. opposed to it being half full. You have to push and move forward with life with being like, okay, I have these things. I can do this. And this is how I want to get it. Mm -hmm. Opposed to being like, oh, I don't have all of these things. I don't have these tools yeah. yet. I can't, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Thinking too much about the end result before mm -hmm. you just go ahead and you just do the work and allow yourself, whether you fuck up or make a mistake or not. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I had to learn was like, it's okay if you make a misstep. Yeah. It's okay if it's not perfect. That's something that I had to tell myself. So that's what a lot of this album, which is titled Lighten Up. Lighten Up. Has to do with November 9th. That's, there it is. There it is. Wait well a second. Said. I was hold on, that's my spiel. Yeah. Well yeah. Said. Thank no, you for coming to my TED Talk. No, no, no. Hey. November 9th, yeah. which is the same day as our comedy show at Caroline's live oh, broadcast, wow. uh -oh. is Diggy's release Plug. party at our comedy Plug. show. If he's here, he could come by the comedy <laughs> show, Caroline's, and perform. It is what it is. Wow. Okay, but Lighten Up is the name of the album, November the 9th. Diggy Simmons is back. I'm here Yo. for it. That was a hell of a sell. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here for it. I get that. that. Thank you. Uh, and that's what was going on from a music side of things. Yeah. But what was going on with everything else with you? How how was your mental health? How was? Well, yeah, that was a that was a big part of it. Uh -huh. I mean, even in that process, like 
you know, I went to a therapist, yeah. went to a psychiatrist. Like, I do have OCD, and it's something that I learned even more about because people think when they have OCD or someone has OCD, it's just like this obsessive cleaning disorder. Right. But for me, it was it's just all mental. Like, okay. literally, like, I fixate on something, whether it be music, uh -huh. whether it be an issue that I'm going through, someone who I may not be feeling, uh -huh. you know, it, it, it sticks with me to that point. So that's my own challenge and own battle. You know, everybody has their things. But, uh, you know, that was my thing. That is my thing. And that's something that I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at. While, while you were going through this, were you, were you in a relationship at all in this time period? No, uh, no relationship. Things... Things. Uh, things. Things. <laughs> things. You, you have yeah. some situations that you were in. Situations, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how does that work? Do they get serious or you just keep it? Do you explain to the person? I'm honest. I'm okay. honest from the go. But that's something that I had to learn. You okay. Know? Like, uh -huh. you know, you, you get caught up in that situation where, you know, you may lead somebody on or, mm -hmm. you know, you don't say exactly and be upfront about what you really want. Mm -hmm. Um. And then, you know, it all kind of just fizzles out and it gets messy, blah, blah, blah. So you let them know what you want. From jump, yeah. What, what do you kind of like? Give me an example of something you said to a person. You ain't got to name the person, but <laughs> when you let them know what you cut up. Well, here, here's my thing. There's two things you could say. People say, I'm not ready for a relationship. That oh. makes some people think that they can, you can, uh, they can make you ready. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Right? Okay. I say, I don't want a relationship. Oh. Mm. It's more cut it's and too dry. Well, yeah, yeah, two different things. I feel like if you say I'm not ready, girl gonna be like, oh, I can make this nigga ready. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Let me hang in there. I could cook. I could. Yeah. Uh, I could. Uh, I'm gonna make this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I say I don't want one, and I'm firm on it. And even like throughout, I kind of like check in and say it because as things get good and things get really comfortable, yeah, people are like, oh no, this has to be going somewhere, and they throw, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They throw that away, like I've been through that, and I'll be like, you don't remember that night in Vegas at 9-11 p.m., I told you, you know what I'm saying? They'll be like, damn, you did tell me. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. And you feel good That's about actually it. A real I noticed story. you left your toothbrush. I don't know why you right? did that. That's actually <laughs> a real story. <laughs> it actually happened just like that. <laughs> did that, is that what happened? I was, yeah. She I was, left her I was, toothbrush? No, not the toothbrush situation, but okay. literally, like, I was, yeah, that happened Vegas, all that. I'm like, you don't remember that I told you. Oh. <laughs> but what it gets But I had you have to break it down like that because you know someone will get upset. Yeah, and you're being considerate. See? I, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, if you're yeah. honest, yeah. then, you know. You you ain't got no liability. Period. I get that, man. It's just game. Tracy, go ahead. I see you. Well, you know, I'm just wondering, but testosterone and estrogen works very differently. Okay. But when it starts feeling really good for you, and I'm also yeah. considering the OCD as well. You don't ever overthink that feeling. And then start wondering, is this the girl maybe I should take a chance on? No. I feel like with... <laughs> <laughs> I like digging. No, well, well, no. I feel like, honestly, I know it from the jump. Yeah. Like, if okay. I see somebody and I'm like, she looks like, feels like the girl, mm -hmm. the one, mm -hmm. that's it. Now, am I saying that I can't grow to know that person or feel that person after we was doing something casual? Absolutely. But I feel like with love and like seeing my parents and experiencing actually seeing love, I can accept it. Right. And I know how to like have it. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like okay. I know. You Ooh, know, that was a very yeah. precocious thought yeah. right there. Yeah. That's a, I've Discerning been dealing with I've... that my whole life. I yeah. see you played with precocious. <laughs> you like that? That's a great word yeah. choice, man. Oh, thank you, Mike Muse. <laughs> I like for, that. For complimenting my intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Diggy, right, first of all, your jacket is dope, man. I wish the citizens could see <laughs> it, so you, I brother. can't wait for them to see you. it. Uh, the next thing, Matt, this really uh, piped up when you said you went to go see a psychiatrist and a therapist yeah. uh, for your OCD, yeah. and we talk about mental health a lot, and I mm -hmm. particularly lean into mental health. I believe that people call we don't address that issue we don't yeah. talk about it freely and openly um, particularly you being a child of hip hop uh, I'm just curious at what point did you recognize that you needed to go see somebody because yeah. we're really going to talk about that point of when did you decide like the to breaking go. point yeah. so I'd say it was two years ago and I had too many nights where I was just up too late and I was just like in my head and the thoughts just weren't what they should have been I was just like this isn't me Mm -hmm. Like there's a, uh, you know, I'm not rationing my thoughts out with myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it's too the skit. Like it's too 
negative. Right. Everything that I'm thinking about myself, everything that I'm feeling about what I'm capable of doing. And that's what I was sitting in when I just be up to like 6 a.m. waking up at like 1 p.m. and I'm missing, a, you know, full days. And I'm like, what am, what am I doing with my time and with myself? So I was like, uh, this is something that I have to do. And it's something that I talk about on the album. I would say, um, I remember a time when I was so pure. I was indecisive. I was so sure. It got me thinking, man, I need to go to church more. Or maybe therapy's the remedy to go forth. So it was like me mm. battling like, okay, my faith yes. is like a big part. And also uh, putting the effort into, mm -hmm. you know. How do you feel about cool. medication? I think if you feel like you need it, mm -hmm. you should use it. That's yeah. that's how I feel. If you feel mm. like it's something that can help you, I'm not against it. Gotcha. Diggy Simmons is here. You just heard the big announcement. Lighten up. It's the name of the album. It's yes. Coming out November the 9th. Indeed. Um, it is what it is. It's a signature song kind of running through the theme of this project. We're yeah. going to play that song and open up the phone lines. 888-742-3345. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, it is yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah. Go ahead and do it yeah. big. Uh. Yeah. Sway in the morning, Diggy Simmons. Uh. Have it be. Hey. It is what it is. is. Uh. Go, Go ahead, ahead do, do it, it big. big. Uh. Why not? If you got an option to do it, you're going to do it small or do it big. True that. Sound good, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You like that? I love it. Sounds really, really good. Heather B tell me that that's all I need. That's it. <laughs> no. That's all I that's all I need. Wow, thank you. I want to tell you too. Um Grownish. Mm -hmm. um, Wanda Sykes was just here, and I said to her before we even got live on air, yeah. You're so dope on Blackish. And yeah. um, I just really got into the show as they started to re, re show it, re air it on mm -hmm. like BET or something. Like you get to watch it and marathon back, at, right. back, back to back. And just seeing what you're now going to do on season two of um, Grownish, I think it's so dope because for us, we had like a different world, right. you know, in our mm, era right. watching that. And now to see um, Chloe and Hallie and, 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 yeah. and you and everybody just coming on Grownish, do you guys feel like that responsibility a little bit, like to, to kind of show the youth school and, 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 mm -hmm. and these issues that do you kind of feel like it's a responsibility? Yeah, I feel like we all have our different platforms. Yeah. So like yeah. myself, like you said, Chloe and Hallie, mm -hmm. Trevor, Yard, like the, all of us yeah. have our platforms. And it's cool that we get to come somewhere where like on social media, you know, uh, there's a lot of conversation. Mm -hmm. But to put it in form of characters that people relate to yeah um and different personalities people of different socioeconomic backgrounds um and, and we're all minorities mm -hmm. you know so we get to talk about different issues so my first episode that they introduced me on season one was why do all the black guys go for light skin and white girls right mm -hmm. yeah, I remember so, that episode. <laughs> so i'm i'm the i'm the black dude who walks in with like a blonde girl and all the black girls on the corner like this motherfucker yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yeah. but the ill thing about it is is that you know they explain where that comes from because mm -hmm. mm. a lot of people don't really understand that it, it's not a thing of like you know being bitter there's uh, oppression and there, there's years and years History behind, behind why we feel the way that we feel mm -hmm. um and then there's all these like statistics that they break down like you know on tinder you know the black woman is the least you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i like that wait a minute the black given... woman is the least swiped yeah yeah, woman yeah on one tinder? of the least yeah one yeah. of the people period on all dating sites. really mm -hmm. yeah across the board in general yeah what? so that's yeah. those are the type of things that we put on television so like shouts to kenya barris the, the man my big brother yeah. wow. um and the whole writing team that show those shows are genius like if you are not watching blackish and grownish i don't even they're genius yeah. mm -hmm. seriously yeah. like it's crazy how smart they are especially when you have opportunity to sit and watch them in and, order yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy yeah. Yeah. it's crazy I'm, i mean i'm i'm honored to just be on it learning honestly. tools yeah. 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 yeah you see that in some campus uh, curriculum soon, right yeah. can you get that in michigan uh, All right. I don't know about that part. Okay, okay. We, got, we got Jimmy on the like line from low. West Virginia. I did go. I did go for it. Jimmy, go ahead. Jimmy, you there? Hello. Yeah, go ahead. Diggy yeah, Simmons yeah. here. Yo, go ahead. yo. Hey, I just wanted to say that song was so dope. Thank and you, I, man. I hope yeah. um, to hear some more of that. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad you didn't overcrowd your song with 
Atlas because <laughs> all these songs now, wow. it's like the Atlas is more important than the lyrics. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? That shit is dope, man. You, you out <laughs> rapping your father. <laughs> oh, man, that's a, that's a lot, but thank you, bro. <laughs> It's like, don't do that. <laughs> Yo, no, thank you. That, that's, that's a Don't gas him, Jimmy. Don't gas him, Jimmy. Don't do that to him. Run he, like 30 hey, years hey, in. Yo, yo, because Biggie <laughs> said, that's a lot, but thank you, but yeah. he didn't say you're wrong. You know what I mean? That's a lot means everything. I aspire to be. Okay, that's what's yeah. up. All right. Uh, before you All go, right. man, we've had you do this before, but it's been a while since we had you do it, man. We, mm-hmm. The citizens come up with these great questions. We tell mm-hmm. people who's coming up, and we put them in a mystery sack, and that's time for the mystery sack, man. Mystery sack. With Diggy Simmons. Let's go deal? ahead and reach in. Dig deep, dig deep. <laughs> Put your hands into Sway's sack. It's hey, yo. <laughs> it's Sway's mystery sack on Shade 45. Yo, yo, yo Diggy, I don't want a relationship. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> All right, Diggy, you're going to dig in, dig deep, dig deep, pull out uh, three to. questions, one at a time. Three? three? Yeah, one at a time, one though. At a time. Read right, it out go. loud. Good luck, man. And you have to answer honestly. Woo. Okay. Which of the, se- of the seven deadly sins <laughs> tempt you the most? Did y'all, like, do this for me specifically? Yeah, of course. Nah, the citizens came up with uh, it. We didn't, okay. know, we didn't even know you was going to be here. Which of the seven deadly sins tempts you the most? Pride, greed, lust, Anger, gluttony, envy, and sloth. Um, the most damn. I'd say lust. Lust is that? Well, you're not that. Age. It, it's between. It's between <laughs> pride and lust. Uh huh. It's definitely between pride and lust. I may let lust edge it out. I don't know. Yeah, no, really. <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, sound yeah. you sound disappointed about all that coochie that you did, man. Crush? It's like damn lust, man. I'm banging them out, sway. I'm banging them. Get a nice white girl. Yeah. That's for TV. That's what it is. Well, that's that, that's just not for radio. That's it's not that it's for TV. He said, Diggy said, nah. <laughs> it's all number bad. two. <laughs> <laughs> move on, Diggy. Move on. Leave her in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Vegas? <laughs> What's your favorite and least thing about America? America. Wow. Oh, damn. Favorite thing about America is. What's my favorite thing about being here? That's terrible. That well, I'm you've like, been around the I'm world, not... though. You've been a few places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so compared okay, to. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, my favorite thing about America is probably food. Okay. Yeah. I'd say, I'd say, I, like, for the most part, like, America's a melting pot of a lot of different, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. like yeah. ethnicities. So That's you can get really, you know what I'm saying, yeah. different yeah. foods that are like actually solid here. Yeah. yeah. Now, least favorite thing, um, our president. That's your least favorite thing. Okay. All right. Cool. Number okay. three. Our president. Yeah. All right. Oh, you can't put those. Uh, yeah, okay. As, okay. as a pr- as a person or as a, a acting official in a, in a in a public office. Both. Okay, great, Diggy Simmons. Boom. Last one. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> he said not, both. Not, not my favorite thing. Not your favorite thing. Okay, he Fair spares enough. no words. He treat, uh, treated just if, like them girls. He be dating. Hey. No, <laughs> oh. he comes straight to it. See, like that's it. not how it's, it's Vegas. going. Now. <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> is that the is that the word of the? Yeah. yeah. Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> if you got offered one point six nine bil- million to be featured in a porn, would you take the money? What kind of a no, number is that? I, <laughs> six nine? Yeah, six. I guess. Oh, yeah, right. I guess it's a play on uh, position. Yeah. Um, no. 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 It's it. It's not worth it. It's not worth. No, it I lasts forever. Yeah. I feel like I can make the one point seven doing something else. Round it up. Like that. Round it up. I round up. Yeah, hey, real yeah, quick before good. you go, Karen's on the line from Florida. <laughs> Karen, you want to say yeah. something real quick? Karen. What up, Karen? Yes. Hey, what up? Hey, Karen. Hello, hello, Karen. I just wanted to say, um, Diggy, I have three nieces, but I have one that's seventeen in particular. Mm-hmm. And a word this because you know, they think older people they're preaching to them. So when they see grownish in particular and they mm-hmm. see blackish, they when you talk about these things and y'all talk about these subjects, 
it really, really resonates with mm-hmm. them. So mm-hmm. I just wanted to say thank you so much for that because a lot of times they don't like to listen to the older people, but when they see younger people and they talk about these issues and put it on the shows, it's great, and it and it works. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it, truly. Yes, thank so. you for calling. Hey, Karen, you're a citizen. Sway in the morning, Karen. Hey, you guys want to talk with Biggie, you can uh, congratulate him. The new album release date is November yeah. 9th. It's called Lighten Up. Lighten up. Um, you can hit him up directly, man, on his social media. Go ahead, Diggy. Yeah, I'm at Diggy underscore Simmons on Twitter, Diggy Simmons on Instagram. All right, and this is uh, another one of his songs called Text Me. True. Love That's you, brother. Thank right you for coming through. All right? Yeah, Every time, you. man. My shield Every time. We got David Banner up next. Hey, I hey. said it. David Banner is up Woo! next. That hoe, no love, heart cold, backseat, car flow, no teeth, straight throw on your bitch, go too dumb.